Hello, Cancer and Cancer Ascendant. Thank you for joining me. January is your month because you have the full moon in Cancer this month. And of course, the sun moving through Capricorn, it's opposite your uh, sun sign or your ascendant. And that represents there's a halfway mark, one way or another for you. Halfway around the, glo halfway ar around the sun, halfway around a time of illumination. And the month does begin, so the January 1st, we have a Mars-Neptune conjunction, so the beginning of the new year, New Year's Day, take it easy. It is about taking it easy. Go listen, you know, maybe do do some binge walking, watching or a movie or your crafts, hobbies, anything that just uh, has, has more of a Neptunian flavor, which is film, arts, meditation. Fabulous for a meditation retreat. Now, on the third, Venus goes into Pisces in a water sign. It's very positive energy for you. And the full moon on the 12th, like I said, it's your full moon. It's a very special, very important full moon. You could feel very emotional at this time. There is a vibration that comes up that may be heavy, about what could have been, or what might have been, or what you wished you did. Be very careful about falling, following, falling into deep negative emotional patterns because it's, you just won't be happy. Why, why? And the high side of this energy, so why does it happen? You know, why would it happen if, if it's not healthy this is messages from the universe because there is this there's a sense of confronting that this energy says sometimes we have to confront with what what is be okay with what is in order to be free because the ultimate energy of this full moon it has a lot to do with freedom personal freedom freedom from any type of shoulds that heaviness of you know supposed to's or old patterns and for you personally, it does have something to do with self versus others. Not necessarily family. Sometimes it is family or family expectations. But I think it's more about your own expectations on some level because it shows that there's some freedom there. The, the juice is, is that there will be freedom to do your own thing, that this is a time to pull back a little bit and say, now is my time. This is my time. And it can have repercussions. You may feel more more uh, freedom to branch out, do something else in the world uh, that you want to do, whether it has to do with your career or whether it has to do with just a personal aspiration for you. There's a lot about learning, learning new. The day of the full moon, your full moon, Venus is conjunct Neptune. It's a new cycle. It's very sweet for unconditional love and harmony and being able to, if, that's where some of that longing can come in. Longing for a love that is on the spiritual realm and not the human realm. So there's this energy of unconditional love that really is very, very spiritual. Like when you're enlightened, right? This, the sense of being all, we're all one. But the longing can be as like, oh, I want it from my partner. I want it from this and they're human. You, maybe, um, maybe the closest sometimes we can get is from a, a precious pet of ours because they can, you know, they don't necessarily have, well, they do have expectations, please feed me. But that longing is very strong, and to put that energy into a place where you are developing your own spiritual awareness, it, uh, this, it really brings more freedom for you, since this is the core energy of that, that powerful, powerful message. And as we move into the rest of the month, the, like I said, the, the month begins with Mercury retrograde, so it's a little slow start. But on the 8th, it goes direct. So it's direct on the full moon. But the beauty of it is, is that all of the planets will be direct from the 8th 
of January to the 5th of February, and this is very unusual. Every year we usually get a little window where all the major planets are direct, but to have this big of a time is uh, very unusual. And it means that when you, that things will be moving very quickly on the planet. But if you want something to move quickly in your life, then put it out there. Put it out there to the universe and take action on it because you will find that things, that, you know, you can just start the ball rolling. I want to get this done. I want to get this done. I want to get that done. The ball really can start rolling uh, very quickly without a lot of obstacles. A lot of, you know, sometimes there's just obstacles. People don't call you back. This doesn't happen. Uh, strong flow. On the 19th, the sun goes into Aquarius. And the sun going into Aquarius, it does bring up the Aquarius to the Cancer vibration and the aspect or the angle is adjustment. So all of a sudden, you know, we get to the third week in January, you might feel like, oh, I got to make some adjustments. Maybe I'm doing so much that I need to adjust my schedule. And some of this adjustment may have to do with your financial well-being. What kind of adjustments do I Am I looking to make for to have the financial resources, short term and long term, for this um, the life that I want to live and the things that are important to me? Now, the new moon in Aquarius is emphasizing this uh, more of the freedom aspect and more of the connectedness aspect, and there may be a sense of seeking. Who do I want to be connected to? And it's, uh, it does show that it could be a close, you know, not necessarily a zil tons of other people, that you could keep it close uh, within your circle. But still there is a, a reaching out. And also it's suggesting that there could be other people that you know that have knowledge, wisdom, something that can be very, very useful to you. So what could it be? You know, if you are looking for another job, it can be a connection that you have that knows somebody that knows somebody. If you are single and want a relationship, well, that's obvious. It can be a friend that knows somebody that can say, I want you to meet this person or has a get together and you go over there. So stay open to the opportunities of the connections with other, other people that um, it's it's that have you know just that maybe they have something that you don't have and it's not it's it, it sounds funny for me to say that but I think you get what I'm saying that they're you know everybody has their own gifts everybody has their own thing that they're good at and or not one person is expected to have it all or to know it all or all that and to be able to connect with your friends and, and know that they have wisdom to share with you, just as you have wisdom to share with, with them. And you can mute, it, it can be a mutual benefit in a, very, in a very loving and positive way. At the very end of the month on the 28th, Mars moves out of Pisces, which has been in um, basically you know for the month, and into Aries. So the majority of the month there's been an emphasis on putting effort or energy into, it's, and it's a water sign, your water sign, putting energy into thinking about your uh, wisdom, your belief system, uh, your thoughts, you know, and that, like I said, this can be a little bit of a challenge this month, especially around the full moon that do I have a belief system that's healthy for me or do I think in ways that just bring me down a little bit and so that Mars in that sector of your chart is saying hey you know confront confront any negative thinking that is not doing you any good and that helps in that overarching uh, support from the universe for breaking free and having more joy in your life thank you for subscribing and have a great month.